I loved him. I loved listening to him. I knew he'd been through something that was an extremely rare occurrence. He'd been through something that very few of us would ever, ever experience, you know. It was Beatlemania for Bolan, wasn't it? It's fantastic when you meet your heroes and they turn out to be good people. You don't uh, forget someone like Mark. And uh, yeah, I was very proud to have been his pal. Mark came out posing. He was born a star, you have to see that. Looking back on it, he was destined to be famous. He had come to school in brightly coloured aluminous socks and jeans and stuff like that, even at that early age, you know, 10. He used to have a guitar in them early days. He'd stand in the corner of the playground strumming the guitar. And he would come in there and sell himself. You know, I'm going to be bigger than Elvis, and I'm going to be bigger than anybody, bigger than Cliff, bigger than the Beatles. Mark wouldn't want to be missed. Mark would have the hair, the, 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 the satin scarf all around, and a feather boa, and high heels in the street. He was a beautiful looking boy. He had great friends around him. He had great management, and he had some fantastic music. But it all turned into pop trash, I'm afraid.